guys, Dark Lord Mike. Uh, it's time for another blog update, and uh, this one's actually a special one because it's going to be an album review as well for Flaw's new album, Volume 4, Because of the Brave, out now. Uh, so, before we touch into that, there is a couple of things I want to say real quick. Uh, there are some sensitive subjects that are going to be involved here in today's vlog. Uh, I'm not going to touch too far into them because I'm trying to respect people's opinions, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yes, so, uh, first and foremost, before we get into the review, I just wanted to let you all know that next week I'm going to be over my sister's house, so chances are I might not be doing a stream then. I can't believe I broke out before I did this. This is so dumb. Anyway, um, so even though my streams are supposed to be every Friday, uh, I don't think it's going to happen next week. Uh, tonight's is definitely going to happen for sure, which is, of course, today, July 19th. Um, because I did not have to do overtime this week like I thought I had to originally, so yay. Um, anyway, so yeah, so don't necessarily expect a stream next week, unfortunately. I might post something else, but maybe not a stream. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's jump into it, I suppose. So yes, Flaw has released their new album, Divided We Fall, was their last one that came out in 2016. It was, uh... For the most part, I'd say well received. There's a couple of people uh, in the fan base that, you know, obviously Through the Eyes is still going to be the number one album regardless. And Endangered Species is an amazing album as well. Uh, so, you know, you're never going to be able to convince them about that. But Divided We Fall has, it stands on its own, honestly. I, I really enjoy the album. It's got a lot of diversity to it. Uh, this new album, I'll say, is more of a concept album because it's very patriotic. Um, there are some politically tinged patriotism in some of these songs. Um, I can explain some lyrics later if I need to, but again, I really don't want to touch on it too deeply because I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, because this is America, after all, and everyone is entitled to their own opinions. And I know some people may have different opinions than me, and uh, that goes with other people as well. Because people who know who I am, they know what my opinion already is. So... Yeah, let's not get into it. Anyway, so, it starts off with a song called Persistence. And that song, based on the lyrics here, is essentially just, you know, trying to say that no matter what, don't give up. We're going to do what we're going to do to protect our values. Um, that overcoming adversity is the main step here. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's it's a pretty decent song. It's, it's not too much different than get up again uh but it's got a different uh, vibe to it for sure but it's uh it's it's got a great beat and his his chorus is is on point for sure uh sorry about that that was a bluetooth speaker that turned off so moving forward here we have walk the line walk the line is probably one of my most favorite tracks from the album there's a cup there's another one that's actually way more uh in tune to one of my favorite i would say uh, but Walk the Line's pretty good. It's got a really good um, story to it. Now, like I said, a lot of these songs are very patriotic. Like, the main theme of this album is patriotism. Because it's, because the brave, because of the brave is what it's called. Which is the next song, actually, in, in the, the title. Uh, the title track is the next song in line. And so, it's kind of a rock anthem. It's got, it's classic new metal sounds, of course. Um, there's a lot of new metal. This band is a new metal band, after all, so, you know, that, that ain't gonna change. Uh, but, yeah, so the next song, Because of the Brave, pretty much Chris Vols takes on the role of, um, I would say, an encouraging person, slash, maybe also a drill instructor because of the left, right, left trance and, and whatnot. But it's about pretty much picking up yourself off your bootstraps and, and moving forward. Uh, and the reason why you're able to move forward is because of the sacrifices that the military make. So again, it's a very uh, patriotic theme. And uh, this one doesn't really have any kind of a bend to it, so it's actually refreshing. It's really, I mean, I like it. it, it like I said, it's a rock anthem, so it's catchy. Um, the next song is, I'm sure you're very familiar with, and that would be the one that was Conquer This Climb, which showed up on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Uh, which they did that phenomenal music video and uh, skit, with, which was hilarious, of course. Um, we all know what Conquer This Climb is. That's your classic flaw. That's your, you know, we're going to be there for you. You have 
everyone is behind your back pretty much they got your six and they're going to do what they can do to help you succeed and realize that you have the abilities to succeed yourself so you know if your wings are broken you can use his because you're going to conquer this climb together so i mean it's got a it's got a very beautiful message to it um, a lot of the songs have really interesting leads uh, thanks to Tommy Gibbons on guitar. I think he recorded some of the bass as well. Um, it's different because Flaw doesn't normally do leads, so it's really weird. Uh, but I like it, honestly. Uh, there's, there's, they're kind of solo sounding more than they are leads, but it's, oh, I dig it. I dig it. It's, it's pretty cool. Tommy brings a great energy to the band uh, uh, when you watch him perform live. Um, and of course, Vols is crooning, his harmonizing, his melodies always on point um, his growls his screams his guttural noises what he does when he um, emphasizes things uh, I mean he's, he's got a very very talented range just like most new middle bands do but Vols is up there with one of the best honestly in my opinion at least I mean everybody has different opinions like I said before but in my opinion he's up there with one of the best um, so that song is your typical flaw it's, it's what brings people in and, and makes people want to pay attention to it now, Wake Up, that's the next song. That's the one that I think people have different opinions on, in my opinion. Like I said, I'm not going to go too far into it, but I am going to read off the lyrics for the beginning. Uh, so, the first thing is we stand up for the flag, and you know we always have her back. So, again, patriotic. It's tinged, for sure. Uh, the only thing I'm going to say is I respect opinions that I personally believe that everyone has a right to their own opinion, that all opinions matter, and that all sacrifices made by the military are important, and that the beliefs and the opinions of everyone who reside in the United States of America as citizens are important. So whether you stand, whether you kneel, that doesn't matter, honestly, because they all mean the same thing, because the military fights for your freedom to do so. And I know a lot of personal military people who also agree with me on this stance. Now again, there are others out there that are always going to be different, and again, I I don't fucking that. I don't disagree. I again, I, I understand everyone's entitled to their opinions, and I respect their opinion. I respect where they're coming from, but some of it doesn't exactly line up with how it's supposed to line up, and that's a problem with today's society. That's all I'm gonna say. Otherwise, the song itself is very very patriotic about the flag and that's where its messages are tinged on is is really the flag um yeah so i think that's about as much as i'm going to say about that one it, it is a good song but i i just don't i don't want to offend anybody so that's all we're going to leave it at so the next song is sign of the times so same same situation just less of it so this is more about the divisiveness in the country kind of like the last album divided we fall was um pretty much you know we all grow up with our own experiences we all uh mature in our own ways and we need to come together if we're going to survive all of this pretty much kind of like endangered species actually if you think about it um only it's kind of tinged differently um but yeah so i mean there's some good good lyrics in that song uh, again, the drums are phenomenal throughout this entire album, by the way. Like, uh, I don't know how to say his name, so I apologize in advance, but George or Georges or whatever, Octopus, um, he's, 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 he's on point. He's amazing. He's great. He has a great personality. He has a great smile. Um, he's, he's an amazing person. I can't wait to see him live, hopefully, when they come to Louisville the next time during their album release party, which is currently ongoing. Their album release show starts tonight. Uh, I don't know what time. It's in Texas. I know that. Uh, but August 3rd, I think, they'll be in Louisville. So um, I'll be there, and I uh, can't wait to see if anybody you all will be there, because I'll, I'll be happy. But, but um, yeah, so Rob, Tommy, Chris, um, you all do an amazing job. Honestly, I, I appreciate it. I love how Chris has been sticking in to everything, no matter what, with all the stuff that he's been through, with all the drama that's happened, the previous members the past members the current members any future members if anything ever happens um you know we, we we understand what's going on we know a little too much because things get drawn out on facebook unfortunately and that's a problem with society today as well is that there's too much um, being shared i'm 
one, I can't really say much on that. I, you know, people in stones shouldn't throw glass houses. Wait, that's not the saying. People in glass houses shouldn't throw the first stone or something like that. I don't even remember. Um, people without sin don't cast the first stone. I don't... Whatever. I'm going to stop that because that was dumb and I messed it up completely. But my point is, I air out everything on Facebook myself because that's who I am. I'm, I'm open. I don't not share anything. That's just who... I share things. That's just what I do. And so, I'm not saying that I'm part of the problem, but, I mean, you know, too much gets shared. I understand that. Uh, it depends on who's doing the sharing and what's being shared, but, you know, it just depends on the situation, I suppose. So, well, we'll just leave it at that. Anyway, so, the next song is Everything, which was the other song that was released through the original campaign that was on Pledge. Uh, long story short, if you didn't know anything about the Pledge campaign, what happened was there was an issue regarding payments for the bands, and uh, something happened with Pledge. Uh, they ended up losing something, I don't remember what, and they're trying to fix it right now. I don't know where they are in the process of that. But they ended up having to cancel all the campaigns on Pledge, and unfortunately I lost money on that because I never got refunded. But that's okay, it doesn't matter. Um, so I just pre-ordered it through Pavement after they put the link back up on Pavement Entertainment. And Pavement is who they did it with last time as well, which is their record label. Um, and they didn't do me wrong before, so, you know, I trust them. Uh, and Pledge is usually good, too, honestly. The only thing I'm going to say about that is I've used Pledge to order from Red, from Nothing More, from 10 Years, and never had a problem. Always had the stuff on time. Always had the digital downloads on time. I don't understand what happened, honestly, in the past year, but I, I wish them the best on whatever's happening at the moment and that they get it resolved, whether it's through a new company that buys them out or something else happens and, and a miracle comes through, but um, I, I, I appreciate what Pledge tried to do and what is they're hopefully going to try to do in the future if they continue as a thing. This is really annoying. This is so bothering me right now. Oh my god. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this, unfortunately. And if I don't, I'll just leave it for comedic effect, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, going forward, um, everything is another one of your classical flaw songs. It's kind of like um, uh, Fatal Fall from the last album, Divided We Fall, is far, Divided, yeah. It's, it's really, really uplifting. It's about, you know, no matter what you run into, that you'll be able to survive it because there's people who have your back. It, it's, again, it's mostly uplifting things like Flaw usually does, so it's not out of character for them. Um, it's very good. It has a good lead-in as well. Tommy does amazing work on guitar, honestly, I hope that he has a great success with his new band on Tether as well. Uh, and of course, George, amazing drummer. Um, the next thing is Prayer for the Lost, which is probably going to be one of my favorite tracks on this album. I think the one before the last one, On Your Feet, uh, might be my favorite just because of the type of song it is, because it has the most melody to it, even though well, in my opinion, it does. It has a lot of diversity to it as far as the actual type of music is concerned. Um, but, yeah, Prayer for the Lost is, is a very heartwarming song, essentially. Um, you know, it's about, again, sacrifices that the military make, that other people make, first responders, things like that. Uh, Flaw's very big report, uh, support for first responders and military, for sure. Uh, matter of fact, their thank you on the back of their album is essentially for that and you know you got to respect that uh, so on your feet is essentially you know just again another uplifting song but this one's more bouncy I guess um, kind of like what's that one song from uh, through the eyes I'm trying to remember the name of it I don't know. I, I can't remember it right now, but it's 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 um, essentially uh, no way around it. Got to crawl before we can walk. You know, we got to learn to stand up before we can talk. We got to learn to take the lessons and turn them into blessings. Can't quit. Can't. Can't. Uh, can't quit. Can't limit. Can't stop. It's such a bl blind side. But I guess that's the way we begin. I'm looking broadside and I'm falling deeper within. I know it's all right, but we're always wrapped up in sin. We're so confused, just don't write, just don't, what? We're so confused, we just don't, 
right where we ought to begin. That I don't think the lyrics are right on that. Um, sometimes it takes a life to recover. It's, essentially, it's, it's trying to say you stumble, you fall, you get back up. Um, you learn from your past mistakes, you move forward, you grow as an individual, you evolve. Um, and nothing's going to stop you from evolving. So, all in all, the last song, which is Lest We Forget, I, it, it, so it's essentially, it, it's just a reading of the first six amendments is what it is, with some really cool guitar and drum stuff. Um, it's, it's like a spoken word poem with background music, is what I'll say. Uh, but again, very patriotic. Uh, so this whole album, like I said, it, it, for me, it's a concept album. 100% it's a concept album. Freaking net. So all in all, what I'm going to say is the production quality is probably one of the best production qualities I've heard from a Flaw album outside of Endangered Species. Uh, so way better produced than Divided We Fall was. Same producer, of course, Rick Lander. So he did an, out an outstanding job this time around. Though. So bravo to you, sir. Um, not that the Divided We Fall wasn't bad. It just had a weird sound to it. And it made that album, to be honest. I like that sound. But uh, I really like clear production as well. Though. So this one, this one, the production was on point And I applaud you. Um, but yeah, so overall, I would say that this garner garners an 8.5 out of 10 for me. Um, Divided We Fall got about a 7.5 to an 8 out of 10 for me when I first listened to it. I'll probably listen to it a little bit more and see if my opinions change or not. Um, in Endangered Species is a 9, and of course Through the Eyes is a 10, because it's literally my all-time favorite album from any artist, period. Uh, because Flaw is my top band outside of System of a Down, but when <laughs> System of a Down can release their next album for real. Uh, but yeah, so Flaw, always on point, always good, no matter what. So there's never a bad or mediocre album from them, in my opinion. And Chris Voles has one of the best voices out there in the industry, based on my opinion as well. Um, and a lot of people agree with me on that. Now, whether or not you agree with his personal beliefs or agendas or political beliefs or anything, like if you know what he's posted on Facebook versus what I've posted on Facebook, we don't exactly see eye to eye on a bunch of stuff. But I do respect his opinion. I respect his beliefs. Uh, I would assume that he also respects mine. You may not agree with what I, what I say a lot. Um, there's a lot of things that happen. And, you know, you can't change things that happen. But we respect each other, and that's what's important. I can't wait to see him come August. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, have a blast seeing Tommy. I haven't seen him yet. I've talked to him a lot, but I haven't actually seen him in person yet. Um... So hopefully that'll be a great experience for me. Um, but yeah, so that's what that's what my review is. I'll say that the Because of the Brave Volume 4 is uh, a worthy album. Definitely go check it out if you like it. Uh, again, whether your political beliefs are left-leaning, right-leaning, it doesn't matter. It's Well, it might matter. It just depends on you, honestly. But I'll, I'll just say check it out and, and judge it for yourself is what I'll say. Uh, but yeah, so that's my, that's my review. Uh, guys, remember to like and subscribe to my content. I'll have some future videos up in the coming days. Uh, maybe something tomorrow because I'll have a stream tonight. Uh, it depends on whether or not I'm too tired to get it done. Because usually I try to upload it the same night that I stream it. Um, I work a lot and I get tired a lot as well. So it just kind of depends. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to start being a little more... I guess adverse, not adverse, diverse with my content going forward. I'm gonna try to make some more additional songs. I know that I posted my original song like a week or two ago. Uh, some of you all listened to it, some of you didn't. I would appreciate if you at least listened to it and gave it a chance. It is just a demo. It's very early in the st in in working. Um, I probably won't re-record it though, so it's probably just as is at this time because. The only thing I can re-record would be the vocals, because everything else is pretty much fine, because it's through a music production program, and you can't change that. You can't change the production quality that sounds, which already sounds good anyway. So the only thing I can change would be maybe the vocal backing of it. Um, so I can re-record my vocals if necessary, because that was recorded when I first woke up. Uh, my roommate says it sounds nasally, uh, but that overall I do have a, a good voice. 
Um, so maybe I'll re-record it. I don't know. It depends. I might have to do some vocal warm-ups. Um, but yeah, expect some more additional content regarding music and things like that. I might even do spoken word poem vlogs. It depends, because I got a lot of poems that I've written in the past that I can post online. Not that I haven't posted them on Facebook before, because I have, but not on my personality page. Uh, but yeah, remember to like and subscribe to Awkward Mike, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. Go follow me on Twitch. Again, I try to stream every Friday when I can. Um, usually I'll let you all know if I can or can't through Twitter, and then I uh, will post on the groups that I'm a part of as well as my personal page and, of course, my personality page on Facebook. Um, I also have a website, but I don't really do much with it at the moment. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, that is it for me now. Uh, I will start preparing for my stream now. It's gonna... I'll try to start at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tonight. Uh, there is a slight possibility that it's gonna just be a rehash of something I tried to do a couple weeks back that didn't work out. And so, I'm not looking forward to it because I've already seen it. But at the same time, you all need to see it because you didn't really get a chance to. So I'm going to have to just replay the levels and there's nothing I can do about that apparently. Anyway, so yeah, Flaws, new album is out now. Go get it. And yeah, so like and subscribe. Darkwood Mike out.